Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a 3D character that can dash and all the other good stuff in Godot 4. So to begin with, we're going to create the actual character. And the root node is going to be a character body 3D. And now we're going to set up the actual player. So we're going to add normal and go 3D. We can't name that. And we're gonna add a camera. And another node 3D. And I'm gonna call this name guide. And you don't have to copy any like of the names I have exactly. Like you can you're free to name them whatever you want. Now that we that's on, I'm just gonna save the scene. Oh, this player. Okay. So we have a camera, but now we need the actual player, like how the player looks. So we need a mesh instance. And I'm gonna use a capsule. This will be fine. And I'll add a collision shape. And put it as a capsule. Okay. Now we can add a script, call it player. Now I'm gonna paste this code in and I'll go over every single line. Gotta... Okay. okay, so all these variables at the top, they're just really there to customize experience. And these references will just help us um, basically move around the camera the way we want it to. Okay, so in the function ready, we're gonna set the the mouse mode to so it's invisible and it's centered on our screen at all times. That way we can move our camera without it like our mouse clipping the edge of our, our window. And in the input function, it's really kind of simple. Like when the player will move its mouse, oh, we're gonna rotate the player on the Y axis, so you can see is like this one. And we're gonna do that relative to the, our mouse's X coordinates. So like that times the mouse sense, which we, sent, we set over here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the X axis, except we don't want our player to be able to, to look like that when he's tilting his camera, right? So we're gonna use a clamp method and it basically makes sure that the value won't surpass any of these values that we set. And you can create a variable for this. I just hard coded it. And to jump, we're gonna have, we're gonna increase the jump number. And I believe the limit of jumps is three and the same with dashes so we're gonna set the y speed or y velocity equal to jump strength and later on we'll set velocity dot y equal to y speed and this basically just tells like the player how far up we want to jump and it'll actually compute um the physics for it and then dash forward function, we're gonna increase the dash number by one. And over here we have if sign y speed equals equals negative one. So the sign method, basically if y speed is a negative number, it will return negative one. If it's a positive number, I think I can check if it returns, yeah, one. And if it's zero, then it will turn zero. Okay, so this means that if we're if we're currently falling, the Y speed will be reset. So you won't take extra, like, so you won't be multiplying your speed in the Y, in the y direction if you dash. Okay, and then we're gonna set this, we're gonna add on to this variable. We're gonna basically, what this does is it gets the position the player is looking at 
which is why I included an aim guide into here. You could do it without it, but I just felt like it was easier. And then we're going to use extra velocity multiplier, which basically just cranks up how far you want the dash to go. <laughs> and then we have the physics process. Basically, we will set um, the velocity so it can actually come, we can actually move. We're going to check if we're on the floor. And if we're not, we're going to set the Y speed equal to gravity so we, the player will fall down. Otherwise, we're going to set the, the Y gravity equal to zero so we're not floating up or sinking in the floor. We're also going to set, we're going to reset the amount of dashes and jumps you have. So pretend you press jump three times, the jump number will be equivalent to three. So, and then if you touch the ground after using all three jumps, it will reset. And over here, it's basically just saying if you press the jump keybind, then, and you don't, you haven't jumped more than three times, you'll actually jump. And same for dash. And while we're here, I'll show you how to um, input the keybinds. So as long as you have WASD, a jump button, a dash button, and a shift button, you're fine. And I'll just show you how to, how to actually do that. So you just type in the action name in this like little bar, press add, you press this plus sign, and you can literally just press the key you want for the key bind. So I press shift, and that's good. Okay, so if we press the shift button and we're on the floor, we want to set our speed up to 40 and normally it's at 20. So if we're in the air, if we're jumping perhaps, we want to set the speed equal to 20 because you can't sprint in the air. If you don't like that feature, you can just delete that, this like entire part. Otherwise, if we're not pressing sprint, we're gonna set speed equal to 20. And obviously you can set a certain, like you can add on to speed if you'd like. Um, but in my opinion, I like it like that. And you could always make a variable too, saying, declaring like what value the speed will be. But again, I just hard coded that. And right here, this is just gonna make the, the camera more smooth. And same with the extra velocity. So when you're dashing, it's not gonna look choppy. And the velocity, and we set the velocity dot Y equal to the Y speed. <clears throat> so then we just have to add extra velocity onto veloc velocity. <laughs> and that basically just, that's basically just adding the dash and we call move and slide, which will actually make the character body 3D move. And then in get direction, this is how we know where the player is look is moving to, I guess. So right here we have the variable direction, which is a vector three. And so the, the X direction is gonna be equal to the input dot get action strength right, which is our key bind to be set, and left, which is also another key bind to be set. And basically what get action strength does is if you press on a keyboard at least, if you press the key assigned to it, it will return one. If not, it will return zero. So you can imagine if you press both of these right and left at once, it would cancel out. And the same for back and forward. And then over here are just some extra camera features you could add. And that just tilts your camera back or forward or right to the left if you like it. And then we just have to return direction down on the list. And now we can, we should raise our, our neck to where we'd like our head to be. You could always test the camera by pressing view, then two viewports, perspective, 
and it's over here cinematic preview so you can see on on like my view is as a camera you can also click it if you want okay that should be it now we can test it it's just a normal normal plane world and a quick keybind is you press Control shift a you can add any scene i'm just gonna add the player raise it up a bit so you can see the gravity everything should work you can see i fall down i can move forward and back the camera tilts i move forward and back I disabled it when I move right and left because personally I don't like it. But you're free to do whatever you do. I want. And I can jump three times. I can dash. Oh, wait. I forgot a little step. So since you're you're subtracting the let me pull it up. Since you did subtract the trans the position of the aim guide and the camera 3D, if they're overlapping, it's not really gonna do anything. So what we gotta do is just move it out a bit. Doesn't really matter exactly where it is, but just know that if you the further you put it out, the the longer the dash will be. The the, the, the greater power. And then closer, it'll do the opposite. So that should be good now. You can see, dash works. You can dash three times. You can't dash, and we can't dash anymore until we touch the ground. So once again, I'll just demonstrate. So jump three times. I can't jump anymore. I'll dash. And that resets. And the dashes won't like push you through the floor of course you just slide through um, if you're just dashing like on the x-axis or z-axis so yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed this please subscribe leave a like